Hello, it's Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents. Today I've got this delightful three-storey Victorian terrace house for sale on Red Lion Lane in Shooters Hill. The property is beautifully presented. It's got so much character inside it. Lovely brick fronted. In a great location if you're not familiar with Red Lion Lane. Um, it's just off of Shooters Hill itself. So just at the top of this road, further on, another sort of quarter of a mile. You've got Shooters Hill and you've got Oxley's Woods there. If you're enjoying it, if you like open spaces. And down this side of the road, further down there, you have the Royal Military Academy on the left-hand side, which is full of beautiful buildings there. And you've got Woolwich Common just a bit further along on the left. You're about a mile and a half from Woolwich Town Centre, where you have the Crossrail, the DLR and the Mainline Station, as well as a really nice high street with its lovely shops. Let's go inside and start showing around the house itself. Okay, so as I have mentioned, outside the house is full of character. It's got so much character, this house. So if you're looking for a, a Victorian period house with lots of character, this is the one for you, I feel. Just gonna pan around just so you can get a good idea what the entrance hall has. You've got nice little touches throughout, like Victorian style radiators, like this one here, reproduction ones, of course. Let's go into the front room, which is used as a bedroom. So you've got these lovely window shutters there, which fold away and give you complete and utter privacy. You've got lovely original corniceing on the ceiling. Single glazed casement windows. Again, nice stylish radiator. And you've also got double dividing doors which open up into the reception room, which I'll show you shortly. So it's got flexible accommodation. As you can see, when we go around, you'll see why. Lovely high skirting boards. They're really nice size. So the flooring, just bare wood flooring. So there's an option of um, stripping and sanding them and varnishing them or painting them if you wish to do so. So there's a few options there for you. You've got a window overlooking the rear to give you extra light. Okay, and then let's move into the, the lounge. Again, a lovely cozy room this. So you've got this beautiful fireplace there. So a Victorian cast iron fireplace with a mirrored over mantel, which is over six foot high. So it's a, a really nice, feature of the room this. Again the corniceing on the ceilings are still there. Nice radiator again. Again the window shutters and then this overlooks the garden to the rear so it's a, a beautiful aspect out here. Okay, let's go upstairs, show you the around the first floor before we go on the lower ground floor. So again, this has got nice stripped and varnished wood flooring here. So there's windows front and rear. So again, you've got the lovely natural light that comes through this Part of the house. So I call this area like a, your own a study area. So it is perfect for a study. If you want to work from home, this is a great area to use. The current only, as you can see, uses it as a, a dressing area at the moment. It's a dressing table. But it is perfect for, for either, really. So I about to say, if you do work from home, then it's a great little area to put a little table and chairs with work from, and your computer. Okay, let's go inside the master bedroom. Right, okay, so this is a very large room. Now, this room was once 
two rooms, so as you can see, there's an RSJ separating the two uh, rooms, so you can see where the wall was. So this is that's why we've advertised it as a two-stroke, three-bedroom house because you could convert it back to three bedrooms should you wish to do so. The door frame on the other side there is still there, so it's just a matter of you know putting the doorway back into both rooms should you want to do so. Personally, I like it the way it is, but I say it's your choice. So. Again, so you've got windows front and rear, giving you fantastic amount of light in here. And as you can see, they've got this lovely ball and claw foot bath. So you can sit here in the evening and enjoy the view out to rear. You're not overlooked at all, as you can see, it's a very secluded aspect out there. Lovely, large, stripped wood and varnished flooring there. Again, another nice radiator just under the window here. So single glazed casement windows in keeping with the period features of the house. And you've also got access to the loft. So the loft is not a huge loft, but there is a pull down ladder that you can access that for storage. And then we have the ensuite toilet. So you've got a bathroom downstairs as well, but you've also got this lovely Victorian style ensuite. So you've got a high flush WC there. Nice tiled flooring as well. So yeah, really quaint sort of room this. Okay, let's show you on the lower ground floor level. Okay, I thought I'd start just with the hall floor before I go down to the actual lower ground floor level just so you can see the staircase as you walk down. Okay, so again, nice stylish radiator here. Before I walk through the rest of the uh, ground floor level, lower ground floor level, should I say, you've got this lovely walk-in pantry, so it's great the storage of you know foods that would normally sort of you know be going off you've got this lovely cool pantry so you've got your electricity meter and fuse board there as well just for your reference okay okay I'll show you the rest of this hallway just before we go into the gardens. So let's go into the kitchen diner first of all. So again, you'll notice it's a lovely bright room because you've got windows generally front to back in a lot of the house. It is so bright, so it's a lovely, lovely room. So this is the sort of breakfast stroke dining area of the room. So you've got nice tiled flooring. Again. Victorian style radiator, single glazed casement window at the front. And even, you are, even though you are sort of partly lower ground here, as you can see, there is so much light that comes through, so you're not sure of any light in this room. And then you've got the kitchen area. So the owner's happy to leave this Smeg fridge here, and the owner is also happy to leave this Smeg range cooker so you've got a six burner gas hob you've got three electric ovens with a grill as well and you've also got an extractor hood above it so that's really nice nice spot lighting in the ceiling as you can see so a really lovely room the theme runs throughout the whole house as you say it's just got that lovely feel to it okay so you've got an upstairs storage cupboard here which is just a normal storage that runs down here you've got a utility area here so you've got plumbing for a washing machine and space for a tumble dryer with some storage cupboards above it as well which is handy and you've also got this area around here there was once upon a time a door leading out to the garden which has been sealed off so you've got an extra bit of uh, storage area here to use 
and then you have the, your door to the ground floor bathroom. So you've got a four piece suite here. So you've got a concealed closet WC, a wall hung wash basin there with mixer tap. So you've got a window to the side as well as a window to the rear. So again, dual aspect, so lots of natural light. You've got this deep filled freestanding bath here, and ball and claw feet. So you've got a mixer tap as well as a shower attachment. And you've also got a mains powered shower enclosure as well. Okay, so you've got a chrome tower radiator here and this cupboard houses your combination boiler. Okay, so really good size space this. Okay, let's go out to the garden and start showing you around there. So just coming out from the French doors via the kitchen, you've got this lovely Victorian sink, which is gonna stay. So that's a really nice feature, I feel. And you've got this lovely stained glass window as well to the side, so really nice. So you've got this block paved patio area here. You've got a westerly facing garden. It's just under 100 feet. So I've measured it about 97 feet, right to the back fence, so just beyond the summer house uh it's measured to there so lovely patio area here as you can see the garden has been really well tended so lots of plants and trees and bushes so if you like your gardening you'll love this this garden absolutely fantastic so you've got this shingled area here another nice little seating area here so it's just lots of cozy little areas in the garden and then you have your summer house as you can see as you can see it's really secluded in this garden so the garden goes down to the side there and there's another little shed just at the back there. Then you have the summer house here. So a really good sized room this. So this could obviously be used for a multitude of purposes, but it is a great space. Okay, right, and that concludes our tour of this lovely house. If you'd like to arrange your viewing, please call Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents on 0208 319 7600. Many thanks for watching.